Today, it's barbecued chicken. We're gonna cook up some beautiful chicken legs. We're gonna inject them with some LC barbecue foul play, which is a fantastic injection. Coming on top with some Dirty Bird Hot. So I'll tell you what, folks, got a great recipe for you. So stick around and let me show you how to make these fantastic barbecued chicken legs. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Sure to appreciate it. Hey, I am Chef Johnny and we are cooking up drumsticks today. We got some nice chicken legs wife just picked up at uh, our local HEB store. So folks, we're gonna bring you in close. Let me show you how I'm gonna inject these to add a little extra flavor, a little extra moisture using our LC barbecue. Got a discount code for you. And I'll tell you about that discount code later on. And we're gonna use, like I said, some uh, hot dirty bird from Cosmos, and we're coming back with two great Cosmos sauces, the cherry habanero and the peach habanero. So come in here close, let me show you how we get these legs ready to go onto this barrel house cooker. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our mixer, and I've got about two cups of water in there, and I have got some uh, foul play here from uh, LC Barbecue. Guys, this is a tremendous, if you're a competition cook, you need to try this. This is this is great. Uh, Philip Breeden. I'm gonna put no third, maybe half a cup in here, just eyeballing it about that much. Uh, but anyways, the developer of this, Philip Breeden, he placed number one in IBCA this year, International Barbecue Cookers here in uh, Texas. Uh, my buddy Bill over at Chicken Fried Barbecue uses this also. He was number three in the IBCA this year. Uh, Foul play works, guys. That's all I can tell you. I've entered it in one cook-off along with uh, chicken fried. Uh, Bill, we got a uh, fourth place. So it shook up good. It's ready to go. Gonna get my injector and show you how we inject these uh, legs. Now to catch some of this juice, I'm gonna leave them in this tray. Just makes, just makes it work a whole lot better, right? Don't have to worry about it. And I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna shoot some kind of on both sides. Push it all the way in, and when you're coming out, you want to fill on your way out. Let's do this front row first. Can you see them puff up there? That's what they do. Just make sure you miss that bone, right? And do a little bit on each side. I'm gonna have more uh, injection here than I need, but that's all right. I'll save it. I'm gonna do some chicken breast for dinner tomorrow, so. We'll have a uh, injection to inject those with. And I'm not gonna worry about turning these around. I'm just gonna shoot them up the angle I got them in. Any extra juice that dripped out, that tray just kind of helps hold it. You take them now, I'm gonna season them on this tray. Let's pull them out. If we've got skin, we'll pull the skin up. Some of these looks like it's kind of, when they cut the thighs off, they took a bunch of the skin with them. That's gonna be all right. We're gonna put some great rub on there. And that means it's gonna get down into the meat if we do it this way. If you've never tried Dirty Bird, I recommend you try it. This is Dirty Bird Hot. We want a little heat on these today. Y'all saw by the habanero uh, barbecue sauces I said we were gonna use. We're gonna take this from uh, Cosmos and you can find them online. I'll put a link down below so you can go to their website uh, to order this. But, but let me tell you, Dirty Bird, Dirty Bird Hot. Uh, cow cover, cow cover hot, uh, Texas brisket. They got a lot of good ones. So we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna coat these really good with our Dirty Bird hot and then we'll turn them all over. Try to get the other sides. And not only do these taste good, I tell you what, there's a beautiful, beautiful color on these. Flip all these around real quick. Oh, if you've got any hanging pieces, go ahead and cut them off. I got a little piece that's hanging there where they cut that leg. So get it out of our way. It doesn't need to be on there. And that skin might pull up a little bit, but let's just season this side. And we'll come back and touch up the sides where we've missed. Get them coated good with flavor. 
I've got my barrel house cooker set up and it's got some uh, Fogo lump charcoal, love Fogo. It burns clean, burns good, doesn't pop a lot. Anyways, my Fogo's on there and we're gonna come back uh, and I got a little bit of mesquite to go with it. So, got some lump charcoal and a little bit of mesquite. Now, you can see I've got quite a bit down in between those if I do a top down shot for you. You can always come back in here and Hey, save some of your rub, right? Use the, what's falling off the edges here. What's wrong with that? Besides nothing. Now it's not gonna be as pretty as sprinkling it on, right? But it sure is gonna put that flavor on there. That looks like we're about ready to go. And I'm gonna use my, uh, leg holder in there don't have enough room for all 14 legs so some of them will lay flat but the uh the bigger ones i'm gonna slide onto here because they'll stay on here real well you got to be careful with these because they will slip through if you get some uh smaller legs right there look at that all right we're going to take these now and set them down in there They're ready to go. We'll take our last two birds. Put them on right there. They're ready to go, get the lid on. We're about an hour in and uh, it's saying that these are ready. See if we can get these off. And when I said they're ready, I meant they are ready to sauce. They're about 165. Oh, some of them a little bit hotter, but we're gonna get these up at a couple of casualties. So we got them off, few drop through, that's why you want those bigger ends if you're gonna hang them like that. But uh, they're looking really pretty. We're gonna sauce them up, get them back on uh, about 15 minutes. We'll have them over 170 degrees. They'll be ready to eat. So we can drop these off. I tell you what, they got some pretty color on them right now. Temperature probe. So I'm gonna take seven on this side. So here we go. We're gonna do seven um, cherry habanero, seven peach habanero. And I'm just gonna lay these on the grate when we go back in. That way I don't have to worry about any more of them falling. Got me a brush. I'm just gonna drizzle me some on these. Paint this side real good. Man, these are gonna be great. Let's turn all these over. See if we can get the other side. Our cherry habanero is on. Put a lid on it. Other side is going to be our peach habanero. And I tell you what, folks, both these have a nice little kick to them. So if you can't take heat good, I'm going to tell you this. Instead of using the dirty bird hot, use the dirty bird. And then come back and uh, you might take regular Cosmos original and uh, ease up a little bit of this heat on these, but I like it spicy. We're doing these kind of like a hot wing, right? These are gonna be hot legs instead the hot wings, but they are gonna be nice and juicy. Remember, we packed them full of that uh, uh, foul play from LC Barbecue. There's one of them that fell. See that burnt spot on it? Be all right. Just got a little ash on it. It won't hurt anything. It burned off everything that was bad. And there's another one that fell right there. So, mm, peach got a good flavor to it. I had to get my son out here to sample these for us. 
and those are ready to get back on. Let's open up the uh, barrel house drum smoker and get them on there. Let's do a quick little flyover. Here we go, peach habanero on that side. Cherry habanero over here. They are looking pretty and about ready to get off of this barrel house cooker. It's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna get these off. And we have our peach to the back. I'm gonna put them the same way. Let's see, I'm gonna move them to the back side of this tray I'm getting them off on. These are pretty, let me tell you. Peach habanero is off. Now the cherry habanero. Those are off, gonna let them cool for a minute. Then we're gonna give them a try. As you can see, it's sampling time and John showed up. He's always here for the samples. So we're gonna see what he thinks about this uh, peach habanero and cherry habanero. So I'll let you take your pick. Came out looking beautiful, I'll tell you that. There's yeah. probably still a little bit hot, so be careful. And there's Charlie, he's, he's over here going, hey, uh, y'all got something for me? Ooh, you're right, it's hot. Still pretty hot. Yeah, just trying to find it good. Man, that sauce is delicious. What about that uh, LC barbecue injection? That put a lot of moisture in it. Oh, wow, yeah. It's moist. It's not too spicy, but sweet and spicy. All right, I'm going to try the cherry one first. Oh, man. That is delicious. Mmm. That dirty bird hot. That's delicious. I can stuff. taste that. That's good. So that's what's on this one? Mm -hmm. Dirty bird. Wow, that's good stuff. Come here, Charlie. You want to try? Charlie wants some? Huh? Here go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Charlie likes it. That's, that's uh, lip licking good for Charlie there. All right, I'm gonna switch now, and I'm gonna go to the uh, the peach. See how I like the peach. That one's good too. I'm gonna try this other one. Give the cherry a try. Oh, I definitely like. It. This one's a little more spicy, or maybe it's just adding on to the other. Adding one. on to the other one. You know what kind of surprise? I thought the color might be a little bit different, but. It's really not. Don't see a lot of color from the cherry to the uh, to the peach. They're both got about the same same color on them. I think I like the cherry better. Do you? I wasn't sure if I'd be able to taste the difference other than just sweet. They're both great. Oh yeah, they're both just super moist. They're not too spicy, and I love it. I love sweet and spicy together. And of course, the moisture that Gosh. you know foul play from LC. Oh, and I told you how you're going to get a discount with LC Barbecue. Uh, find them on Facebook. I'll put a link below. Put in the uh, code CJ10. If you do that, they're going to give you 10% off any of their products. They have Foul Play, Boss Hog. They have two beef injections, and they have three rubs. You can get some discounts on those. Tell them Chef Johnny sent you. I think this is a win. You can never go wrong with Cosmos. Dirty Bird, Dirty Bird Hot. I'm liking it a lot. Both of the habanero sauces. And you're going to be seeing some more... Uh, Cosmos from me. I'm now on Team Cosmos, so you're going to be seeing some Cosmo products. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Always do appreciate it. Uh, remember to tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you down the road on Texas style barbecue and cuisine. And there's Samson, our, our big Appaloosa stud. He's saying goodbye also. So we'll see y'all. Bye, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.